welcome to this short preview of the mediaspace.global panel uh, on staying ahead of the curve in the fourth industrial revolution, a panel that we're presenting at the publishing show at the Excel Center on Wednesday and Thursday, March 1st and 2nd. So we're just gonna give you a little taster of some of the topics that are up for discussion. I'm Hamish Sanderson, I chair Media Space. I'm an international lawyer qualified in the US and the UK, and I'm really interested in this debate about the uh, next stage of this amazing revolution that we're going through uh, in the media. So I'll introduce all but one of the panel members. Um, one of us is missing for the preview, but all of us will be there on Wednesday, and it's 11.30 at the Excel Center, and we do urge you to join us. Uh, and with me on the panel, we will have James Rosewell, who's the CEO of 51 Degrees, co-founder of Movement for an Open Web, and a data expert who has a lot of things to share with us. James, would you just like to give us a, a flavor of what you might be talking about on Wednesday? Yes, yeah, so uh, two and a half years ago, together with Tim Cow and I founded uh, Movement for an Open Web uh, to keep the web open for everyone. Uh, we don't believe that internet gatekeepers should control um, what people get to see and do online, uh, particularly when it serves their own interests rather than those of society, and particularly uh, publishers and advertisers. Um, I also uh, worked with a number of other people on something called Secure Web Addressability Network to provide a open framework uh, to address some of these issues and effectively give publishers choice uh, and put them back in, in the driving seat and control over how their operations work rather than being beholden um, to uh, monopolists or potential monopolists. Um, so I'm very keen to talk a little bit more about that, explore um, those ideas with the panel uh, and the audience. Great. Thanks, James. We're really looking forward to that. Let's move on to the next panelist, Hayley Brady, who is a partner and a head of media and digital at Herbert Smith Freehills, an expert in media law. So Hayley, what are sort of issues that you, you want us to uh, talk, talk about on Wednesday? And what, what are you going to be uh, talking about. Thanks. Um, I think having seen so much change in the media industry over certainly the years I've been practicing, um, along with the different balances of power across different players, um, and generally having on the legal side always a bit or a lot of catch up, um, I think what is quite interesting or a bit interesting to discuss on Wednesday is um, the increasing regulation. We've all heard a lot about things like the online safety bill and whether or not we think too far, not enough, um, and, and how we think that will impact the change going forward. Great, that's going to be fascinating. Uh, we have another uh, lawyer on the panel. He's an EU lawyer, Stephen Kinsella, specialist partner now at uh, Flint Global, uh, the leading international consultancy firm, and a founder of Clean Up the Internet. So Stephen, what are you going to be talking about uh, on Wednesday? Thanks. Well, I think we all agree these are pretty challenging times and there's a lot of regulation coming, you know, thick and fast at this industry, both at UK and EU level in particular. But if I was to make a prediction as an antitrust lawyer, I would say that I think we might see a more relaxed approach to consolidation and to mergers in this sector. Uh, just to give one example, just two weeks ago, the European Commission approved a joint venture between Deutsche Telekom, Orange, Telefonica and Vodafone to set up a new ad tech platform for digital advertising. And presumably the, the rapid clearance was justified by the need to allow them to provide a counterbalance to the, to the larger platforms. Um, but there was also a big emphasis on consumer control over data, uh, over what ads they receive and how they protect their personal data. So, you know, it's always been said, if you're not paying for something online, that you are the product, but maybe that balance is changing a little in the digital advertising world. Fascinating, Stephen. Well, as you can see, we've got a brilliant panel uh, and, and one more uh, who will join us, Maria Purcell, who's a, a, a vice president at International Advertising and uh, a member of Insider Inc. Uh, so with this panel, we'll be exploring uh, the fourth industrial revolution and how to stay ahead of it. But we'll be guided in particular with the keynote from uh, a, a media expert and uh, CEO and founder of Mediaspace.global, Kinga Inser. So Kinga, just uh, give us a, a few final words uh, about what we can expect on, on Wednesday. Kinga Inser. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Hamish. 
Um, so uh, I think we are all fascinated and, uh, and frightened by the changes in the media business as well. Uh, and looking at the data and, and trends of the market, we can see uh, that uh, the publishing and media industry is always uh, driven by technological changes, and that's what's happening right now. So I think that's why it's very important to uh, speak about these changes in, in a diverse professional um, environment with, uh, with leading professionals, because there are so many aspects and uh, such a complexity that, uh, that we, we all need uh, these conversations to, uh, to stay ahead of the market. Thank you, Kinga. So we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, March the 1st at 11.30 at the Publishing Show. Until then, bye for now. Thank you.